Hi, I'm Shannon Henry, an Applications Engineer here at EMA Design Automation. We have learned the importance of controlling impedance in PCB layout, but how is it achieved? Today we will discuss how to measure impedance. Impedance can be controlled through the PCB stackup, but before we get into more detail, let's first take a look at a microstrip configuration. The dielectric constant is typically determined by your manufacturer. The trace height is typically defined by your design requirements and necessary current carrying capacitance. To control the impedance, adjust the trace width and dielectric thickness until the correct value is obtained. To complete the calculation, you can use the following formula for a microstrip configuration. Now let's take a look at a strip line configuration. Just like the microstrip, the dielectric constant and trace height are predetermined. Adjust the trace width and dielectric thickness to obtain the correct impedance by using the following strip line impedance formula. Please note that this formula is only valid for a symmetrical strip line configuration. Calculating correct impedance by trial and error can be very time consuming. Many different impedance calculators are available to assist you in your design. Here are some examples of microstrip and strip line impedance calculators, which can be found at SaturnPCB.com. These calculators allow you to set options like dielectric constant, copper weight, and plating thickness, while varying the trace width, dielectric thickness, and frequency to obtain the ideal impedance. Perform these calculations by hand or use one of the many impedance calculators to control the impedance in your design and improve signal quality. Whatever approach you take, designing for impedance control can be tedious. Here are a few do's and don'ts to minimize errors and delays in your design process. Do seek approval from the fabrication house after estimating the impedance of the PCB stack up. Leave enough room for the supplier to adjust the trace width, dielectric thickness, and dielectric constant. Do include all impedance information in the PCB fabrication drawing. This will inform the fabrication house of the target impedance and allow them to correctly adjust any of the components if necessary. Don't allow the supplier to adjust the copper thickness, as this could affect the current carrying capacity of power traces on the same layer. Thank you for joining us today. To learn more about impedance and other topics, check out some of our previous Whiteboard Wednesday sessions from the PCB Design experts here at EMA Design Automation.